brick. It's a lifestyle, it's not a phrase. Last year he made a statement claiming he wanted all the kings of RBE. When he said it, I don't think he foresaw me being in the picture. A lot done changed in a year. I do know if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. But a wise man always told me, be careful what you ask for. His real name, Jonathan. Well, that ain't give me much to go off. I know he went to jail, John, and he came home and showed off. <laughs> y'all looking like, but y'all looking like, where the fuck is he going? My first thought is he got the name in jail. Well, what the fuck was he showing? You do look like Jesus. I ain't gonna lie, that was hard in the way. But my God wouldn't wear that bummy do rag. He had a part in the way. All right, let's talk about uh, A Ward versus Rosenberg Raw. Uh, obviously, they was on champion doing a face off probably a month or so ago. Shout out Jay Black. Yeah. And, um, you know, this is, I feel like this is a very tough battle for, for, for Rosenberg Raw. And I always say Rosenberg Raw is one of my favorite battles to watch because he has his own style, and I appreciate yeah. that. And he didn't really conform when battle rap has changed over the years. Yeah. How did this battle come about? Did, did, uh, Rosenberg say he wanted a war. Was he? Did he have options? Like, like, take me through the through the thought process of how this battle came about. So one, it's a battle that both guys wanted. Um, so that always helps when you're in my position to say, "All right, let's put this together," because there's a good level of motivation when two guys, you know, is asking for each other. Uh, the face-off was there already. They're probably gonna do another one or start talking about other shit, but the face-off being there as well shows that they already promoting it, pre-promoting the battle, wasn't locked in at that point. Um, so that was dope to see um, in my shoes. Um, it was a battle that was on the table for Max Out 1. When I called A-Ward, I'm pretty sure he was expecting me to say Rosenberg Raw, and I ended up saying Ill Will. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I think, um, Rosenberg Raw was even possibly thinking about A Ward and ended up with the show off thing of me saying like well, let's do a show off thing you know and here's my reasons why I always put my my logic on the table and let the battlers give me their feedback of what I'm thinking and why I'm coming to them with certain shit and then you know if they're with it then we move forward if they're not then we try to find a different option we try to find a place to agree on a battle but those two guys they made it easy because like I said they both wanted to do it um so your thing about Rosenberg Raw being an underdog, I think that's fun for me to address. And this is not to be pro A Ward, I'm neutral. You know what I'm saying? But Rosenberg Raw is always an underdog in his battles. Every battle he does, he's a fucking underdog. I think he's super comfortable there. And Rosenberg Raw is a guy, as a battle rapper, that's more like me as a as an owner. Where it's like eight plus years in, I'll get the question, yo, how? How do you continue to do this despite all the type of shit that comes your way and the bullshit you got to deal with and blah, blah, and running the league is hard. How do you keep... And it's like when people lose the mind state of like, this is what we do, or we're good at this, instead of asking the question, how? It's the same thing for Rosenberg Raw. He's a legend. Kid's been battling forever since he's a teenager, yet we still ask him how he wins against certain opponents. At some point, it's got to be unfair to him. Like, why the fuck are you still asking me? Why, who do I got to get up there and beat? Fucking Mook, Lux, and Hollow back to back? Like, <laughs> like, what the fuck do you want from me? You know what I'm saying? Um, but let me contradict all that by saying, what <laughs> might kick his ass. <laughs> um, a Ward getting back on this card. This is, you know, we did the Danny battle, we did the Old Red battle, we did the Ill Will battle. And now the Raw battle. So yeah, this is fourth, the fourth battle for A Ward. So he's he's coming up with some good battles on RBE. Um, and the reason why you're gonna see him with good opponents on RBE is not just because he's a good guy, not just because he does good straightforward business, but his talent level allows me to put him in front of so many different people. And if you know RBE, you know we don't give a fuck about no tears. So a guy like a could come over here and his first battle could have been like a loaded Lux if that's what people wanted to see. I wouldn't have given a shit. 
You know what I'm saying? His talent and his star power um, allows us to be that flexible. You know what I'm saying? So um, he's a dangerous guy, man. And we see in those big rooms how heavy rebuttals hit. That's that's really one thing that people always got to pay attention to, man. That coin flip helps you versus somebody like a -Ward. Like, take one of them rebuttals away. But um, super talented, creative, one of the more creative guys that I've been watching over the years, a -Ward. We'll see what's going to happen. July 10th with that one.